Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and I bought 100 Morgan Silver Dollars from a bulk distributor, and I'm going to unbox them, see what we've got, and yeah, hopefully we can find something, whether it's a VAM, whether it's a interesting date, key date. I'm guessing there's not going to be too many keys in here, but I'm still excited to search. Nothing's better than taking a look at some Morgans, so... Um, yeah, we'll crack this thing open and I'll be selling a lot of them in some upcoming sales more on that later in the video But let's get right into it This video is sponsored by whatnot the fastest growing live stream shopping and auctions app for your collectibles Including coins and paper money. I'll be selling a ton of coins errors varieties world coin grab bags Paper currency and precious metals June 1st and hope to see you there I have a link in the description that'll give you a free $10 to spend on the app. We'll also be giving away about $500 of Morgan dollars and silver, so be sure to hang out and remember to go through that link. I really like how you can see the coins up close, their condition, and then have a nice, uh, easy payment process through the app. So I'll see you there, and let's get into the video. And here we've got the bag of Morgans in front of us. Let's see, I pulled back the cover. I'll just take three out for a sneak peek and then I'll remove the rest. But our first, we're looking for CCs, of course. Um, 1880 regular, you know, these are solid shape coins. Um, as I paid for, ooh, that one looks better in the back. Um, another 1880p, maybe we got three 1880ps. Actually, you know, maybe a touch of cleaning, but there's still a little bit of luster. Um, also no mint mark on this one, um, but I'm going to carefully remove the rest of them from the bag. They're sort of all next to each other. Um, so do that, and then we'll start going coin by coin. Okay, so we'll just start going, I guess, from this side over. Already see a 1900 coin, so obviously we're looking for the 1900 S or O over CC. And let's take a close look, um, make sure that this isn't, because I actually see a tiny bit. I think it's just a hit um, on the O mint mark and not the CC, but sometimes you can see... Two little things protruding on each side of the mint mark. That means it was uh, a die that was originally made to go over to um, the Carson City Mint. This one's 1881 plain. Um, and they ended up uh, stamping the CC into the die, and then they moved it around. Um, and that, interesting there. I feel like there's an 80 over 79. My VAM knowledge is not as good as it probably should be, but that's also probably just a hit on that um, mint mark and not a 70 or a 80 over 79 there's so many different varieties and i struggle you know i made videos on some of them um but i still struggle to remember seems like we got a lot of the 1880 no mint mark coins 1891 here we're looking for the s mint mark um we got a o you know and the s mint mark isn't even that much better but it's a slightly rare coin mintage below six million here's an s mint 1879, so that's not particularly rare. Um, the S Mint, I think they produced a ton from like 1879, 1880, 81. Um, the 84 S becomes a little more rare. Um, and this one actually, whoa, 1884, nice uh, nice shape. That'll be uh, a coin I can make a little bit more of a profit on um, as opposed to, you know, maybe I trade it to somebody else for not a ton. But if this was an 1884 S coin, I would be extremely happy. Um, those get rarer in, in better conditions. Let's see if these are all, I like seeing the date first here, um, cause that makes for a fun reveal. 1884 again, we'll look for the S and we got the S. Whoa. Um, oh man. And with some cool looking toning under the light, you know, this used to be a gorgeous coin. If it was in mint state, it would be worth, you know, tens of thousands of dollars with this toning, maybe much more. Um, but it's not that rare in the more common grades, uh, but there were only 3.2 million made. So this is probably like a, I don't know, $45 coin. So that's actually pretty good. Um, 1883 here, uh, higher mintages on those, 1883S. Um, 1883 again, also 1883S. Um, and this one has a little bit of luster left attached to it. Some deep hits in the field, but um, slightly nicer. So I'm going to put that in the slightly nicer category that I'm slowly building out. And so will this coin also be slightly nicer um, with no mint mark, but a little toning around a lot of the main parts of the coin. I have to remember to flip the coin properly, rotate it um, just like that 1883. Oh, 1883 is not a particularly low mintage uh, date or anything. 1890, uh, not either. 
but 1890 plain there. But these coins are looking pretty good. I'm happy with the um, condition. 1889 O. Um, 1889S is pretty good. 1889 O is medium. Um, and 1886. Also, you know, San Francisco, it was interesting. There were like waves where silver dollars were really hot and a lot were being produced. Um, and then there were a few like economic downturns and, you know, dips in the price of silver. And they were sort of only created to prop up the price of silver originally. So there's like tons of different things going on more from the larger economy perspective, and that spills over onto the coins, um, 1881S here. And I need to know it better in my mind, but that's why you see there is sort of like a panic, I think, and then that's why you see decreased mintages, you know, 1893, 94, um, in that range, this is 1889 plane, um, after, you know, tons of production, like for the payments in 89, um, and that one is a, actually a little bit better condition. I'll probably put that to the side. Uh, 1880S. That's a very large mint mark. Um, yeah, I'll have to make sure that that's not something special. But 1880S, super cool. Um, and some of these are going to be selling in tomorrow night's live sale on Whatnot, 1885. Um, I'm really excited about that. You know, I have a $10 credit, 1881.0. That's a slightly lower mintage, 5.7 million. Um, and the, that credit is, you know, uh, basically you get $10 off on your first purchase. There's some coins that are selling. These obviously won't be selling for below $10, but I have some nice world stuff or maybe like a U.S. silver coin um, that is sort of allows people to get a good deal when they sign up. I'll also get a $10 credit, but it's a really fun platform to purchase coins on. Um, sold a bunch of Morgans recently, $18.99. Um, and so I'm going to be going live there uh, tomorrow night, um, but also uh, regularly afterwards. I'm going to take a little pause. Here's a 1900. Let's also zoom in again, make sure there's no O over CC, and it doesn't look like it to me. Um, yeah, not only tomorrow night, I am going to be going down to Texas for an internship um, with Heritage uh, that I'm really excited about, looking forward to, 1879 plain. Um, I always like the 1870s coin just because it's like that first uh, decade that these were being produced, 1901-0. Um, 1901-S is a better uh, date. Um, and I'll get to learn, meet a lot of people, and just see the industry from a different perspective. 1896-0, 4.9 million made, uh, sub 6 million, so that's cool. Um, and I think, like, you know, it's just good to make connections, but also I've been really impressed with the people that I've spoken to working at Heritage, and I just know I'm going to sort of sit back, um, not in the sense that I'm not going to be working hard, because I anticipate working a ton, but more, you know, that I'm going to be learning, observing, and again, seeing it from a different perspective, 1887-0. And so, you know, I, I'm really thankful to have this opportunity, 1882-0. Also be nice to be, you know, away from home, away from the sort of New York City area, 1883-S, um, where I'm originally from. 1891 Plain. So lots of different years here, lots of different uh, dates and mint marks. That's very fun, 1884 Plain. Um, and so, but... Because of that, you know, I, I got this lot in. 1880 O is a 5.3 million uh, mintage coin, so a little tougher to find, but not really. It doesn't have enough scarcity where it's crazy. 1897 O, um, that's 4 million were produced, uh, 4 million 4,000. And I feel like it's, you know, I'm going to be a junior in college next year, something interesting to go do for a summer. 1885 plane, um, though I, some of this was like more to, invest and like hold on 1891.0 maybe it's not the best idea for me mm, i thought it would be fun to have a little more morgans for people in the live sale uh over on whatnot 1889 this one's actually you know maybe a few unsightly marks there but that's a pretty nice uh coin and then you know i just like morgan dollars as well so when i can get a decent price on them i feel pretty happy about it 1889 let's see no mint mark those are quite common um, cause they're just such classic coins. I mean, I feel like the premiums on them are pretty high right now. I got a solid deal again on this 1882, a little greenish tint, which is kind of a bummer. And that sort of looks, I wonder if it's like, um, mm, cause there is doubling on the 1882, uh, a lot of, by, by this point, often they're worn down and people are not too interested in paying much of a premium for them. 1885, that, that's probably a little nicer shape. I'll put that one aside. Um, 
1884-0, but it's also fun to search and maybe we get some better stuff. We've had a few dates that are like a little bit better, um, 1885 plain, and I haven't been doing a great job about separating them out. I am going to inventory all this into my system and catch anything that I missed. 1886 uh, might have been an O, and then 1884, an estimate here. Ooh, nice. Would actually be pretty good. I think this is probably like, I don't know, I'd probably grade that like a 30 or something, but... That could be easily like, or maybe not easily, but sort of a $50 coin, something like that. A little bit nicer, um, 55 bucks. That's great. I just have a good experience with that because I found some estimates that were really nice in a collection or two. 1890 oh, that's not a date I recognize super well, but it's not particularly rare. Um, and so I always remember to look for them. 1879S, that one's pretty worn. Um, and... and I have a better eye for that, 1892-0. Um, that's 2.744 million, so I'm going to put that aside. I don't think that that really makes it, like, super rare. And that's 1878. I can't tell. I, I, looking at that, you know, that doesn't look great. But then here, you know, it's pretty. 1878, let's hope for a CC. And no mint mark, but still cool. Um, first year, that's that's great. People like that, 1891-0. It's like very historic to have that very first year of the Morgan dollar. 1901-0, um, also not rare. This one has a little nice toning. Oh, what are the good O mint marks? Um, you know, not any like major keys off the top of my head. 1892-0 is decent. 79-0 would be good. 1889-0 is not going to be better, but it's got some fiery... It's toned, but like this is not the same as like toning on an uncirculated coin. Maybe it, like once got cleaned or like toned after it was, you know, worn down pretty well. So I don't think that's going to add huge amounts of value. Let's see. This one has a decent appearance to it. Oh, mint mark, 1880. I don't think that's goes in the better condition category. Doesn't quite have enough where I'm super excited about it, but it's still a good coin. This one. Could be nice, some cartwheel, maybe a little bit. Uh, I can't tell if it's more muted or just cleaned up. Um, but 1889, so that AU range, um, which is definitely a little bit better. And then here we got an Omen 1887. So not a standout there either. 1882 flat or no mint mark, um, no comment there have to search these for vans, but also sometimes I just like giving people an opportunity to, if they see something, you know, then you can go bid tomorrow night. 1878, or in the future, because some of this S, sweet. Um, so first year with the S mint mark, let's look at the tail feathers, you know, um, looks looks like seven. Um, I'll, I'll have to do a quick run through and make sure that there's not anything too rare. Um, you know, in, in the, uh, you know, but we'll look for the eight tail feathers. Morgan's 1888-0. Um, but yeah, some of this will probably, I'll, I'll sell in like two and a half months once the heritage thing is over. I'm going to throw it all in a bank vault until then. 1900 on the dot. S mint mark here, 1881. So, um, 1880, no mint mark again, 1891. We're getting sort of to the end here. Um, or at least, ooh, we have uh, knocked a few over. We have far fewer left than we did. We've been making pretty good progress. 1885 flat, 1880 O. All right, and there's so many different, you know, I look at these and it's like, I don't know what to look for except on a few of them. 1886 flat, if you see something, say something or don't because they'll be for sale tomorrow. You can get it um, without, you know, just without telling people and maybe people won't notice uh also during the the stream but we had a lot of live viewers like 150 um 1878 no mint mark um so let's make sure it's not an eight feather looks like looks like seven but it kind of looks like seven over eight maybe i'm missing that uh i don't think so but kind of i'll give it a closer look later on um 1882 no mint mark 1890, there's not going to be a rare one here, but 1890, oh, uh, then we got the 1880, pretty nice shape, no mint mark on that one, 1886, no mint mark, let's see, 1884, maybe S, oh, and it is an S again, so that's our, 
third, you know, again, this is pretty worn. This is not going to, you know, clean, but I still have my bias towards it and, and trying to find them. This one also looks decent. 1878 S as well. Nice. Sweet. Super cool. Um, that's, that's great. So decent looking first year. I, I think people will want to pay a lot for that one. Or maybe I'll just hang on to it. 1879 no mint mark. Let's see. This one's a little flatter. 1878. So that maybe, uh, you know, bails it out of being just a really worn coin that I'm not, you know, that would be maybe one of the worst condition coins today, but it's the first year. So maybe I give it a pass. 1890. No mint mark. A little uh, rim ding. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. 1892. Mm. 1891. Oh, Morgan dollar, um, eighteen seventy nine no mint mark Morgan, um, eighteen eighty three oh, uh, so sort of that those first years where there's just plenty of these coming in, uh, and eighteen seventy eight S still has some nice eye appeal to it, um, but it's not really luster. I think it's been cleaned a little bit, or maybe maybe it was just like a high VF low XF find. Um, this one has definitely a little bit of luster left. 1886, but a little greenish tint. I can't tell if that's a tiny bit of toning or like more some ugly corrosion. Here's an O-Mint 1891 coin. We're getting to the end here, pretty close at least. 1890, some remnants of old toning on it. Um, that I'm sure it looked really nice at one point. Um, 1885 O. This one looks 1885, a little bit of luster attached, maybe. Uh, no mint mark. Then we've got 1885, no mint mark again. Let's see what else here. 1879 flat. Um, 1879. I keep on calling them flat. That's not really a numismatic term, but I kind of like it. 1878, S, yeah, sweet. First year of issue, again. Really, really cool. Mm, what else do we have? 1878. Take a look at the tail feathers. We got seven. Um, and then we got two left here. So, 1902 plain. Um, 1902S would have been a slightly tougher date. And then here we have an omen mark, 1897. Uh, only four million made. That's our second one of those finds today. But uh, I think that this was a fun hunt. I really enjoyed it. I think that we did pretty well. Um, we'll be, again, auctioning these uh, the 1st of June, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, but I, I mean, you know, probably not going to auction all of them. I have to, I'll probably save a few of them. Um, maybe add them to my collection if they look nice. Um, I, I should probably have like a date set going, um, or like a date and mint mark set going, but I don't No CCs was not something that I expected given that this was coming from a, uh, you know, a dealer source and not like a collection source. The collections is where you find that really, really good stuff. Um, and, but I think we did get, you know, a mix of coins that, even that one like has a little bit of luster on it. Um, same with is the case with a lot of those ones. Um, and then like my personal favorite, we got the uh, 92, but three 1884 S coins. Um, one that would have used to look gorgeous or maybe toned like that after the fact. And thanks for watching. Um, I'll always unbox Morgan's on screen. If you saw something good again, please tell me in the comments below. Um, I'd really appreciate that or don't it's always fun to you know have an inside advantage know a little bit more do your research and then come out with some knowledge that puts you ahead of everybody else in the coin game so see you soon thanks for watching the video be sure to like comment your thoughts and subscribe to treasure town and get in touch with me on instagram facebook and twitter also check out my website treasuretowncoins.com for news and updates related to the channel and collectibles in general. Lastly, there's a link tree in the description with links to all of my other sites as well as some affiliate links that can support the channel. But with that being said, have a great day and I'll hope to see you on some of my videos in the future.